Thanks for joining me on Life and Surround. Today is a bit of an impromptu video. I was hit up by David Hopper from 360 Degree Sound for their CD Junkie series to do uh, a bit about Super Audio CD, SACD. He was tipped off by an acquaintance that I have a collection and have an interest in the format. So um, we've discussed this YouTube channel a little bit and just some of the other formats for surround and for stereo, high resolution and all that. And um, I have responded to a series of interview questions and that interview should be available on his site at a date uh, to, to be determined. But I wanted to shoot this companion video. I think it is a strong topic. I have a uh, My Collection series here on Life and Surround anyhow, and if memory serves, I hadn't really gotten beyond, I think, my quad vinyls, or maybe like my quad collection across formats. I, I can't quite remember. So I thought, you know what, this is an excellent opportunity to dig into SACD with you a little bit, to have a companion video to that that web interview and um, to do a little bit of cross promotion, I'm gonna put um, their link down below so that you can find the, the written interview. And so I figured, you know, I'm not gonna go down every question that he had to ask um, because um, some of you are all already familiar with a lot of my situation or maybe or maybe not, <laughs> like what brought me to surround what got me interested in Super Audio CD in the first place, but I'm gonna kind of jump into the part of his interview where he just asks, you know, what makes Super Audio CD special? What makes it worth it? And um, for one thing, Super Audio CD can offer uh, just a superb degree of definition for your music. And because it is played back bit by bit, I think that it's possible that it can kind of mimic an analog waveform pretty well. Um, so the sound can be really nice. SACDs are not infallible in this sense, but they tend to be mastered in sort of a, an audiophile way in um, that they tend to be pretty dynamic with a lot of headroom. I mentioned a few SACDs um, in one of my responses where, you know, like I talk about my experience of playing the, the debut from the police on Super Audio CD, just how jaw-dropping this thing is to listen to. It's so crankable. I can just absolutely bring this up to jumbo jet sound levels, and it's still pleasant, and it it's still sounds great. And so, you know, it's crankable. And same thing goes for like the first time I cranked Joe Cocker's uh, with a little help from my friends. Like I was just, just amazed when I got through listening to this, just how I knew it was loud. But when I checked the volume, it was just like thunderously loud, but it was still just so pleasant. And then for like super important albums to me, you know, kind of seeking that ultimate sonic experience. You know, I have Hemispheres by Rush. And, you know, I think that the truth may be that the best sounding version of Hemispheres may in fact be um, a download version, like from HD Tracks, the individual album, not the one that comes in the Sector set. But um, in any case, I do crank that SACD from time to time, and it helps put me in touch with that very special album. Uh, Rush are a favorite band of mine, and I consider Hemispheres to be damn near the absolute pinnacle of their their writing and recording prowess. It's just just an astonishing album. And then, you know, he asked some questions about like you know the future or like the current state of SACD and there aren't a whole lot that are coming out like particularly in like pop or rock genres. I think SACD kind of specializes more 
um, on like orchestral music, classical music. And then like Dutton Vocalion does put out a lot of orchestral classical, but also like uh, vintage, like 70s, 60s stuff, quad and easy listening and just kind of odd stuff. I, I like Dutton Vocalion. They're, they're a cool label because I'm an eclectic person. But like, you know, recently I think it was Acoustic Sounds, Analog Productions put out Mr. Big, Lean Into It. And, you know, it was an anniversary, I think. 30th 30th anniversary but why Mr. Big and why lean into it um I don't know in fact I need to unwrap this and give it a listen it could be just incredible but this is an example of like a pretty recent pop release but yet it's an older album I'm not sure I'm not sure there are like ap- absolutely like current modern artists that are using SACD um but yeah Everybody keeps wanting me to mention Genesis. So Genesis, you know, put out their entire freaking studio catalog on on SACD uh, audio DVD format, uh, dual disc, well, not dual disc, but two disc packages. In America, you only get a CD and an audio DVD, but I've gone in for the uh, European versions, which are SACD and a DVD. And, uh, man, I love Trick of the Tail. It's among my favorite. It's among my favorites uh, from Genesis. And then, again, Dutton Vocalion putting out Billy Paul. I mentioned this in the interview as one of my favorite SACDs. Just this guy's voice and uh, just the just the stunning, like, recording quality and the uh, masterful mixing, you know, stereo and quad from Michael Dutton. And uh, then here we have Wish You Were Here, SACD. And we all know that um, Animals is coming out. It's going to be in this format. And it's also going to be standalone Blu-ray. And it's going to be in this, like, deluxe version with a LP and a DVD and a Blu-ray. And, uh, I don't know, a CD, <laughs> probably. Uh, it's the Blu-ray for me on that one, but... Oh, man, and then we have Sony Japan with their 7-inch artwork series putting out um, a lot of stuff that I actually now have on quad vinyl, but then also some stuff that has been out of print for a long time, like they have Toto 4 coming out soon, and that's been out of print and super expensive for a long, long time. An exquisite Elliott Shiner mix of just an incredibly great pop album seasoned expert studio band writing you know in my opinion great at least memorable songs and a super strong album like the album tracks actually impress me more than the than the super well-known opener and closer of that record so anyway um i had a good time kind of going down memory lane you know remembering what got me into super audio cd Merely the fact that sometimes um, it's the only format that you can get uh, an album in surround on. Sometimes it's the most affordable option. And there are just some some absolute demonstration-worthy discs out there. Toto 4, Eagles Hotel California, oh boy, Dire Straits, you know, Brothers in Arms. There are these SACDs that are just classically looked at as like the benchmark um, for even how to like tune your system. So anyhow, um, I'm going to show some pictures of my collection, uh, the big old rack that I built to display jewel case size discs. And um, I happen to have arranged all these in SACD for you. My beloved OPPO BDP95 queuing up Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells, this experimental mix that I'm not sure was supposed to be released. And then um, the 7-inch series from Sony Japan. I am very, very happy to have Toto 4 on the way, uh, pre-ordered at least. And uh, we're all hoping for Santana Caravanserai. Come on, Sony. And then um, my collection in the back room, in in my media room. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. SACD is coming out um, in a trickle these days, but uh, sometimes the releases that we're treated to are just, you know, juggernauts of this hobby, like, you know, animals coming out later this year. So um, it's not dead. It, I believe, is fairly niche, especially compared to the numbers of streams that happen every day and um, the sales of vinyl records right now. But, um, you know, because you, you need a special player, you need a special processor if you want to listen in DSD, you need extra amps beyond stereo and extra speakers. And, you know, so I, I think it'll always be niche, but it is a very special one. SACD stereo and multi-channel is a very, very important and special part of my life. It brings me joy, and I know that for many of you, it does as well. And maybe for, for some of you, you haven't ever um, gone out and tried to find a SACD player and, you know, just get the format up and running. I encourage you to do so, uh, particularly if you already, you know, are dabbling with surround, you know, like maybe DTS or, or Blu-ray audio or whatever you're doing. Um, SACD just has some, some invaluable titles, like some must-haves exist only on SACD in in surround so I encourage you whether you're on that journey whether you um, are embarking on it drop me a line um, leave your comments sometimes the community responds very helpfully I try to respond to comments um, don't forget to like subscribe ring the notification bell share this video far and wide <laughs> translate it into foreign languages print it into text do whatever you need to do to uh, help support this channel, which helps support the surround music industry. And um, that helps support our happiness and mental health and the very meaning of life. Life in surround.